Whew. All right then. Well, that was um, an interesting little dream I had. Oh. Hmm. Gunpowder and coil. Uh. Okay. Fire. Hope I never have to use it. Something tells me I will. Oh. Okay. Um. Mm hmm. Okay. A letter from Johannes Vanderberg. The reason why I'm here in the first place. Because of the dreams of the sinking city that I've had. What does that symbol mean? X. Y. No. RB. Whoa! Easy there. Let's not start going crazy this early. Never trust a tourist advertisement. Monolith National Park is waiting for you. I see. Uh, has a funny way of showing it. But what does this mean, though? Still don't understand that. Uh, okay. Before we go, if I can... I'm sorry to start off like this, but I'm going to have to adjust very quickly, adjust the camera sensitivity a little bit. Okay, it's still slow, so I'm not really sure what to do about that. Alright, fine. Let's, um, make it even faster. See what happens. Let's try going outside. Oh. Gonna back away now. Hmm. Uh, okay. Let's try increasing it a little bit more. A lot more see what happens. Nope. Still slow. <laughs> Does camera sensi sensitivity mean something else in whatever language, language they're speaking? Because there's no sensitivity here. Um, uh, video? Controls? Controls. No. Okay, um, okay. Let's do a test and see if... Okay, it's changing. It's a little bit faster. Hmm. I'm not sure that cameras... I think camera sensitivity is supposed to be slow in this specific section of the game. Um, let me try going in. Okay, yeah, see? Okay. <sighs> Fine, okay, we'll put it somewhere in the middle then. Why is this on strong? I put it on normal. Did I change that by accident? Vibration off. What the hell? Compass. Why is compass off? Compass on. All that. Put that. Put the crosshair on. What's going on? Who's turning things on and off? What the hell? Am I doing this by accident? I'm not... I wasn't... Intending to. Um... Yeah, 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 turn everything on. Yeah, right, good, okay. So... Uh, we'll just have to deal with this weird sensitivity for now, I guess. Hello. Now get out. Oh. Thank you. At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vanderberg, at oh. your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? 
Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. Uh huh. Reaching Oakmont is no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. Lee. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. The flood, you say? Tell me about this flood. It began six months ago. Storms raged for several weeks. And the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the inconvenience. Atmosphere, you know? Uh, sure. So, about my problem. You said you know someone who can help me with my... problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. All right, where is Mr. Throgmorton? How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to <laughs> stand out from the crowd. What do you mean? Can you tell me a little about Mr. Throgmorton? A remarkable creature, scion of a robust bloodline, a philanthropist, a scholar, and the patron of the famous Oakmont University. A man of great ambitions and even greater ego. Do not make him wait. Okay, well, I'm gonna need a place to stay. I'll need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair enough. I've already feathered a nest for you. Oh. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. Right. So, uh, so what do you do here? How do you fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg? I host a philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia. Gathering seeds of thought like moths drawn to a flame. So I can't really have much of a market for philosophy these days. There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. Uh-huh. So, how do I get to Devil's Reef? What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot, or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Oh yeah? What else did you mark on the map? Your little philosophy club? Other places? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular. It's ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. I see. Goodbye, Mr. Vanderberg. Well, that's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about it. I'm the kind of man who finds you. Oh. It's, um, it's good to know. Map. Um, street names and districts are shown on the map from the beginning. Most other landmarks and points of interest have to be discovered. Institutions with archives, landmarks, fast travel points, investigation scenes. Investigation scenes were key evidence collected. Investigation sees where all evidence collected. You can mark the map. Evidence marks. Red. 
marks are always shown. Okay. That's good. So I press the... this one? Right. Okay. Alright, this is... The, uh, this is the last time, I swear. I turn this. I'd rather have it be too slow than it to be too fast. So. It's weird. Sometimes it... Sometimes it goes really fast, and sometimes you have to, like, drag it. Maybe it's... Maybe it's the controller. Maybe the controller is off, not the game. Maybe. Anyway, Oak Mount, a town on the rise. Can I loot things in the game? Doesn't look like it. Oh, can I climb over here? All right. The end is nigh. It will begin again. What is down comes up. The seed is sowed. Uh, yeah. Hold on one second. <clears throat> no? Okay, well. Probably shouldn't get in trouble this early. At my arrival. Alright, well. Mr. Vanderberg. Vanderberg said that. Mr. Thord Mount or whatever it should be easily recognizable, so. I don't care about your petty excuses. Oh. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is fine. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well... Perhaps we can help each other. Um, what's this about your son? If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. But he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart. The best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. Um... Who? I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. But now... Right. Those filthy migrants occupy half this damn city. A port. Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells, they are everywhere. So they're just refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. I see. Um, can I ask you about visions? I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> Yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you. Uh, My son Albert is missing, and no one in this Innsmouth, a ridden city, will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. Well, when you put it like that... Uh... Alright, fine. I mean, I just got here, but I can try to find your son for you. Mr. Throgmorton. Let me help you. 
rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera, you have a point, newcomer. Um, Vera? Sorry, did you just say Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. Alright, well, tell me about the case. I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Dane, did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that. Where is the lifeboat? You mentioned a lifeboat. Is it still around? Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. And where is the fisherman's house? Where's the house where this all happened? For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. You were standing right in front of it. Oh. Then I'll be going then. As much as I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throgmorton, it's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. You got a friend. Let's go inside. Oh. I can open doors automatically. I don't need to press a button. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Mmm, yes. This is clearly a fisherman's house. There's fish everywhere. There's more fish than... At... There's... Fi fish... That... Where's... The sun? That's a big fish. Huh. Ooh, okay. There's stairs right here. There is a door here. Oh. Huh. This dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. Huh. I've seen better dog mats than in head. Oh, just some ammo. Okay. Nothing unusual here. There's coral reef growing. The book is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. Okay. We got a book lover over here. You know what I'm saying? Got Mr. Smarty Pants. Excuse me. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, oh, my head. What? Who are you? Are you police? I've already told them everything. It's okay. I'm Charles Reed, private eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh okay. What do you want? Who are you? Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so... I started fishing. I was out of starve. Right. And what happened here? 
I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Thogmorton's son. Ugh. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. And he started to make these horrible sounds and... Okay. My head began to burst. And he woke up. And... After that, I don't remember a thing. Just... Dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant... A voice that called me... Um... Ah. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Who is... Um... Who is K? Who is this K you keep mentioning? Outsider, show some respect. K is our lord, our light, our love. Sorry. I oh. <clears throat> um, so where are the others? Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. K be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea oh. where Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. What happened to Paul? Do you know how Paul died? I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already gone. Okay, have mercy on his soul. Right. Uh, I've got to go. I'll leave you to it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, detective, sir. Yeah. Tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or... I kill him. I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone Blech. coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. It could be worse. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Sheesh. Oh. Whoa. What the hell? What am I looking at here? What's going on? I barely recognize the face of the poor fella. Yeah. He was beaten to a pulp. I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. What is the what's the blue meter? Um skills map Right. Is there a tutorial or something to tell me what's going on here? Why is he doing this? Okay, fine. Oh, what's going on? What is this vision? Is this supposed to happen? I'm gonna leave. Um. Choo choo. <clears throat> yeah. Alcohol, of course. Mm, okay. Anything else on this floor? Mind's Eye. Press down on the D-pad to activate. Mind's Eye. Hmm. There's some clues around here. There be clues in these waters. Um. Oh. Excuse me? Was that the mind's eye? Never seen knives like this before. I'm gonna turn this off. Masterful work. <laughs> Cause I still don't know what it does. Um mind's eye. 
allows you to see the unseen. Use mind's eye whenever you see distortion in the corners of the screen and hear a ringing sound. It may reveal images of the past, illusions, omens, or tracks that are otherwise invisible. Images of the past have an activation zone. See above. Right, right, okay, okay. So when I start like hearing prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. When I start hearing whispers and stuff, then there's something weird going on. Sometimes it's just a uh, little vision like that. Sometimes it's something more helpful. Hmm. So that's what an in's mouther looks like. Doesn't look that different. All right, let's examine this fella again. Recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. I have to see the unseen or whatever. Maybe the clue is downstairs. Then I don't There's know. A fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. Recognition. Recognition allows you to understand events that happened in the past. Inspect enough evidence on the scene, and a vision will emerge. Step into it and find all the critical scenes. Right. We don't have enough evidence yet. Okay, there's a blood trail to follow over there. <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. Okay, you're not gonna talk to me. Okay. Now we've got the mind's eye. There is something. Oh. Whoa. What's this? Hello? Where did this come from? What's happening? Oh, this is the. Is this the sun waking up? And then something happens here. Take this, ape face. <laughs> right. Yeah, run. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Huh. Well, this one seems to be straightforward enough. He wakes up, starts attacking, they start fighting back, he runs away. Yeah, run! When Albert Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Hmm. Oh, what now? What do you want? Mind's eye, or whatever. It's all these visions. Oh! Oh. What's that supposed to mean? Mind palace. Is it over already? Did I solve it? Solve the case already? What about the symbol down here? What does that mean? What does this scratch mean? Okay. Can I talk to the other... Witnesses, can I talk to Paul? Where's Paul? Or not Paul. Jake or whatever. The guy that told him about this. The fuck? Alright, what what does the map say? Evidence key evidence collected, but not all. Not all the evidence has been collected, so right? That's what it means, right? Oh, there he is. I've said everything I know. What? Well, come on. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see. I've em. said everything I know. Oh man, okay. Uh, what do I feel like this is too easy? I mean, this is the first little investigation, sure, but Oh, hold on a minute. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. I think I've got it. I think I need to continue investigating because 
when oh when the sun jumped I think I saw some blood down there let's follow the trail right no can I find out find out where the sun is by just following the trail trying to at least uh, all right fun let's um let's go to the mind palace I guess got some stuff here uh, okay so um fisherman suffered a sudden psychic outbreak psychotic outbreak uh, okay okay hold on hold on let's see um Albert returned unstable and attacked the fisherman therefore he was dangerous right Albert returned unstable and a fisherman was missing no sudden psychotic outbreak Albert spread hysteria around him. Right. Um, Al Lewis shot without warning. One fisherman is missing. Albert fled when wounded. No. Throgmorton Innsmouth feud. As an Innsmouth... Oh, yeah. As an Innsmouther... Lewis and his people suffered at the hands of the Throgmortons. That could be a reason to hate them. Albert flood when wounded. One fisherman is missing. I can track down Al Albert. Albert and the fisherman named Lewis fled the scene after the fight in the house. I can track them using my supernatural sense. Well, good for you. Alright, let's track him. Follow the omens. Right, okay, let's start from here. He jumped down here. There we go. Then what? Do I follow where he's pointing? That's what it means, right? Follow the omens. Yeah, okay, they're guiding me. Guide me, spirits. Where... Did the sun go? Reveal the truth to me. Oh. What's this? So the fisherman pursued Albert. Even let off a few shots. Mmm. Yes, the... The omens, they reveal all. They let me see everything. He put his hand here. He managed to climb that high. Robert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. Where did you go afterwards, spirit? Lead me to your final resting place. Thank you. This is a warehouse. I, th I think I can take it from here. Yep. What's this? Uh, there's something in the pocket. I'll put it in my pocket for you. Why don't you pick it and see what it is? Lewis, please, just give me one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater like everyone else right now. I don't yet have enough stock to operate the bar smoothly with the fuzz snooping around the port. But don't worry, I've struck a nice deal with the proper people, and should have a steady supply channel soon. Just one more week, and I'll return everything with double interest. Peter. Well, well, well. Seems that Lewis wasn't exactly the nicest of guys who was expecting to be paid. 
by a Peter. Now the question is, did they go upstairs or downstairs? The blood leads downstairs, so... The blood is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far. So let's go... Let's go upstairs first. Oh, we can't. Never mind. Let's go downstairs first. See what happens. Hello? More blood. Hmm. Padlocks. Padlocks and weak planks can be broken with a shot or melee attack. Well, why would you shoot a padlock when you can melee it? Right? <laughs> oh. What? What the? Wait! Back off! Back off! Oh shit. Oh! I can switch weapons. That could have been handy to know. But is there a is there a block button? Um Ammo and supplies are scarce. Guns are not prone to reloading themselves. Thank you. Um Is there a block button? I can run with RT, that's good to know. Um camera flashlight interact crouch reload okay there's no block button okay fair enough now what do we have here one fatal round through the forehead that's no accident this was deliberate albert was murdered what does the mind's eye tell you? Oh, all evidence collected? Are you sure that's it? How can you say that with certainty? What about this weird little freaky arm thing? What was that all about? That's not normal. Okay, let's go. Let's go back to the mind palace. Albert fled, Albert was murdered. Albert fled, Lewis pursued. Lewis may have wanted Albert dead. Because he was a Throgmorton, rather than just drive him, drive him off. Lewis left the crime scene and Albert was murdered. Lewis left the crime scene, bar owner is indebted to Lewis. Lewis may be at the bar. Okay. Alright, so we're not gonna condemn him just yet. We need to find out if he really did do it. Even though he's a very likely suspect. Alright then. Where is this bar? There's a ship. And there's a house. There's a port. Um, whew, that's a big place here. You got... Um, what is the bar called? Oh, the bar at, at the port. Okay. So we just gotta go back to the port, which is... Here. Yeah. There we go. Run. Bar under the keel. Oh, there it is. Under the keel bar. Um. Delete, please. There we go. You 
look familiar, but old Billy hasn't seen you around. Well, now you have. Hello. Oh, yeah. Hey, got a spare bullet, fella? I ain't eaten in days. Yeah, I got a spare bullet. Where do you want it? On the hand? Right here? Nah, ain't not worth it. Hello. Stay alert. Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. Mm hmm. Ugh, I'll miss the carpenter's food giveaway with this darn port closure. Alright. Maybe the barkeep will know. Oh, he is the, the owner. Welcome to Under the Keel. What do you want? Right. Um. I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. Why not? As it happens, I know you owe a debt to Mr. Flynn. Trouble is, I found your note near the dead body of Albert Throgmorton, son of Robert. So, it seems Lewis is in trouble. Might have even come here to hide. But you hand him over and he won't be back to collect what you owe. Get me? Throck. That would explain the blood. Fine. If it gets me out of this mess, you can have him. So? He's upstairs. Here's the key. You gotta promise to deal with him once and for all. But save the shooting for outside, huh? Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. Goodbye. Bye. <clears throat> hey, knock it off. Sorry. Come. Come closer, troubled oh. soul. Let me tell you what your future holds. You're some kind of uh, fortune teller? Yes, my dear. Yes. Oh, it's so clear. Your what is? path holds many surprises, newcomer. Nonsense. Seems a little generic, don't you think? Mm. Yeah. I see many things, boy. And I will tell you them in detail for a small fee. All right, how much? A dollar? <laughs> Your money has no value here, newcomer. After the flood, Oakmonters deal in the practical. Booze, smokes, and bullets. And I'll make it oh. easier for you. I don't smoke. Um, not right now. Some other time. Maybe. As you wish. Can I not use... Oh. What's wrong with your leg there? Looks a little pale. I think you haven't seen the sun for a long time. Um, so I've got alcohol, but it, I guess it's not the drinking type of alcohol, so I can't trade that. I'm not gonna give her a bullet, even if it's one. I'm not gonna give her a bullet. <clears throat> Stupid. So, let's go upstairs and find Mr. Lewis. What the? Get them! Oh. Who? What the? Get them! Oh. oh. What the? Get the? Oh. What the? Get the? Oh. Urgh. Stupid thing. Hey, who are you? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son, Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Throg. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. Good. So why'd you why did you kill Albert? You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall... After is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspected it had something to do with that ape. 
turns out I was right. So, how did it all happen? Start at the beginning. What happened? We, we, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Mary gone to the sea. Though I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Barry dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. Well, it seemed to me that your actions were rather deliberate. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. Why do your people hate the Throgmortons? I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throgmortons in their high castle only made our life harder, always conspiring behind our backs, always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. What's a grand family? You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? Hm. So you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah, a newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition, reputation. The head honchos of Oakmont are called the Grand Families. There's the Carpenters, who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And, let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. All right, I've heard enough. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reed, don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest, have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. I'll think about it. This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. <clears throat> Fine. It turns out I arrived here unprepared for business. You give me a little something to get started. And my lips are sealed. I knew you'd understand. Here you are, Mr. Reed. Thank you very much. Appreciate, appreciate your cooperation. Oh. Let's see here. Um, so. It seems that Lewis was affected by hysteria. He claims that he wasn't himself and was affected by the same mental influence as the other fishermen. It seemed that he couldn't entirely control his actions. Which means that Lewis killed Albert Throgmorton while under some sort of mental influence. He couldn't control his actions and thus can't be blamed for Albert's death. I could try and cover for him, or else Robert Throgmorton will have his head. Alright. Back to Mr. Throgmorton. Hello again, Mr. Throgmorton. 
I've seen some strange creatures around. Mr. Throgmorton, now, I've encountered something. Uh, what? I don't have all day. Some uh, unusual creatures. And they sure weren't friendly. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm somewhat surprised to see you still alive. Those unsettling things appeared after the flood. I've commissioned a few studies on them, but we know little more than when we started. They're aggressive, but fortunately, not immune to gunfire. Yeah, I learned that firsthand. Try to avoid them when possible. And when you can, keep your weapons handy. Right, so. I have found the murderer. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm afraid I have bad news. Oh, no. Yeah, I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. I've tracked down your son's murderer. Where? Who is he? He's... dead. I tracked the murderer down, but he was attacked by those... things prowling the back alleys. And they tore him apart. It was that Innsmouth or fisherman, Lewis. He was covered in your son's blood. That may have attracted the beasts. Are you certain the body is his? Beyond any doubt. All that's left of him is a heap of flesh and this scrap of cloth. It's from his jacket. Just ask his friends. Alas, this was my revenge to exact, not some wild beasts. Something must be done about those pests. Still, justice has been served. This isn't closure, but at least I know now the story. Thank you. Mr. Throgmorton. I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes. You've earned it. Kay, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't, but I digress. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? Oh, you know, I'm uh, investigating cases of insanity. I'm looking into an outbreak of erratic behavior and madness. All linked to shared visions of this place. Indeed. Then our goals align. This inexplicable hysteria has spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. Really? Why a geological expedition? A geological expedition? I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and this madness of the same yes. source. As above, so below. So I sent men to find out. Hmm. And? Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? Hmm. So you're saying the murder and the expedition are somehow linked? You think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. Yeah, you can say that. So tell me more about the expedition. If I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and... Albert. When you've finished, come see me at the Throckmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. 
All right, so <clears throat> let's talk payment. What about my expenses? They will be reimbursed after you complete your task, and of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also of course their advance in bullets. Uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. I see. Thank you for your time, Mr. Throgmorton. Farewell.